welcome to today's Big Brother Canada updates and spoilers. Our house guest of the day is Lynn P. And she wants to know who I think from the Alliance of Six, the Sloppy Seconds, will be the first to turn on the Alliance. And I think it'll probably be John and or Netta. What? So I'm going to be talking about that in today's spoiler, so keep those ears open. Alright, so we left off yesterday with the special reward party for the Habs. It was like a bad frat party. Is there really a good frat party? But um, they had no food, but they had beer and beer pong and chocolate milk. So needless to say, John and Allison got drunk. So um, it really reminded me and made me think back to their secret task when they had that bar in the diary room good times. So, of course, they were a little bit buzzed after the whole party, so Arlie told Allison, uh, Sabrina's been talking crap about you and throwing your name around, and she's like, I don't care. <laughs> she knows that Sabrina's days are numbered, and she doesn't give a crap. So, um, nominations were today. And of course, Rochelle and Sabrina are up on the block. Duh! If somebody crazy is going to go this week, it's going to be through the back door. John is not going to take any chances and put them up straight up. That's stupid. So, Sabrina was pissed! Um, did she really think she wasn't going up? I mean, come on! If she really thought that, she is seriously delusional. So, then she was like, telling everyone, just evict me, keep a shell. Oh. My. God. So, it's gonna be like that. So, the question is, is Rochelle the target, or is Sabrina the target? It's pretty much split right now. Heather and Netta and Allison were all talking, and they pretty much agreed that Sabrina should go this week. But Arlie and Adele were like, oh, our best move would be to get rid of Rochelle. Ah! So, John was talking to Netta, and he seems to agree with her that Rochelle could be useful in the coming weeks um, to get rid of, like, Arlie or maybe Adele or, like, people from their own alliance. Um, as long as she can keep her mouth shut. So, also, playing into this, Rochelle is throwing Sabrina under the bus hardcore. She is campaigning to stay, and Sabrina's all like, I think we're going to be safe this week. I think we're going to be safe. It's okay. So, <laughs> anyway, Heather and Netta were also discussing their plans for the future in the house, and how they want to go to the end together, final four with them, John and Adele, but neither of them want to be in the final two against a guy, because they know their chances in the final two against a guy, not very good. It doesn't usually work out on shows like this for some reason, um, but they just, they don't want that. So I guess they kind of have a final two? I don't know if it was said in so many words, but that's basically what that means. So. Arlie and Adele also made this little final two deal, and when Arlie was talking to himself a few minutes later, he was like, wow, I have a final two deal with everyone in the house right now, and if I was up against Adele, I would crush him. I'm so sick of Arlie. I'm sorry. His little, like, chats with himself. Sometimes I appreciate that from a house guest, because I like to see where they're coming from. We don't have to wait and see uh, their diary rooms on the show. We get to hear it from the horse's mouth. So it's a lot better like that. But Arlie is just so annoying when he does it. So that's my take on that. The Power of Veto competition is today. Heather is the host. And the players are John, Rochelle, Sabrina, Arlie, Netta, and Adele. But there was some drama because Adele was not originally taking part in this competition. Allison's name was drawn, but he used his special power to take her out of the competition and put himself in there. So I'm thinking this was not a good move for Adele. Allison is freaking. She's freaking out. She's not taking this well. She is taking this as a sign that Adele and pretty much the whole alliance don't trust her. And she feels like she's at the bottom of the totem pole. She's like, why the hell did Adele Adela do this? <laughs> but I mean, I don't think Adele realized the ramifications of this action because I think he was thinking oh crap, I only have like one other week that I can use this because pretty soon everyone's going to be playing in the POV. 
and he's like, I should probably use it. And maybe there will be prizes in this competition. So, I get what he was trying to do there, but at the same time, ugh, I don't think it was a good move. I think it's going to come back to haunt him. So, <laughs> that competition is taking place right now. But before that, uh, John told Rochelle today that he would consider putting up Allison as a replacement nominee. What? So, that would be crazy because she has the hidden POV and this is the last week that she could use it. She'd definitely use it on herself and she would be safe. Which makes me think, would he put up Arlie next? I don't know, but if he did and then Arlie went, that would be so amazingly hilarious, awesome, the best thing ever. <laughs> so I think that would be really cool to see. Um, but like I said, Power Veto is happening right now. Um, the feeds have been down for a while. A lot of times they don't come back until really, really late on Saturday nights, but I'm going to try to stick it out. And I will put the winner in the info for this video when I find out, hopefully later tonight. And, uh, we'll see what happens. I know a lot of the house guests were talking, in the sloppy seconds, were talking about throwing the competition to Rochelle. We'll see if that actually happens or not. And until tomorrow, much love. Edit. Edit.